explorers welcome to another video today um, right now I'm actually gonna go do some photography I wanted to start right before sunrise but I did not sleep well last night and my digestive system is on a thousand so we're gonna go out now if you have not already make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when all of my videos are released the videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time now let's head out to do some photography Just walking along the beach, grabbing some photos. The sun is rising like from land or on the other side of the island, but it's still beautiful to walk along the beach. So as you can see, I missed a lot of the sunrise, but at least I caught the tail end of it, which was still great. So I'm gonna walk along the beach so you can hear a lot of the ocean waves crashing onto the shore and take in some of the beautiful landscape. This will definitely be relaxing for you. So let's enjoy. So I have finished my photos. These are a little lower quality so they could fit in the video, but you can check them out and purchase them as prints on my website that I will have linked down below. Enjoy the photos. All right, so I came back from just hanging out at the beach and doing photos for sunrise. And now I've taken my hair down out of the braids, put on sunscreen and packed a little bit. I still have a little more to pack and check out this at 11. So I really wanna go to Cheshire Plantation. They have tours that last 30 minutes. So I was going to hopefully take a conch cab. There's kind of like their ride sharing service, but it couldn't find anyone. So I'm gonna go down to the butler and ask like if the taxi I had yesterday takes credit cards because I'm low on cash. I don't wanna give any more cash. I have to give cash to check in or to enter the plantation. They only accept cash. So I don't wanna give any of that out. So yeah, I have to see about that. So if they don't, maybe I won't be going and just chilling out. The butler was able to grab me a taxi, a different driver than the day before, and he was not the best. He didn't know where he was going, and he was very impatient. And we ended up arriving to the plantation, and they weren't open. So pro tip, make sure you call the plantation to see when they're actually going to open. But while we were driving away, well, as he was rapidly driving away from the plantation, I saw them pulling up to unlock the plantation and I just didn't want to deal with them anymore. So I'm going to grab some photos from the website and talk to you a little bit about what you can see and do at the plantation. So since I couldn't get into the plantation, here are some photos from their website as well as visit TCI. So here's some information from Cheshire Hall's website. The Loyalists were original American colonists who remained faithful to England during the Revolutionary War. By 1778, when the British armies pulled out of the Southern states in the United States, thousands of Loyalists abandoned their holdings there and fled along with their slaves to British held Florida and eventually the Bahamas, which included the Turks and Caicos Islands at that time. Now for opening details and getting in. Tours run from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. The reception and shop are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays to Saturdays only. 
Visits at other times can be arranged on request by prior appointment with the National Trust who owns Cheshire Hall Plantation. And it's also a $10 per person entry fee and that includes the tour which lasts 30 to 40 minutes. So, and they only do cash and pre-booked tickets and they cannot accept credit cards. So make sure you call ahead and it's probably just good to just book an appointment with them, period. Now let's get back into the hotel. So I am back from the plantation that did not happen. First of all, the taxi driver of the hotel called me today was completely just trash. Like he just did not seem like he wanted to drive anyone today. So that was annoying. And so he didn't want to drive all the way out to the plantation. So he took me to a museum that wasn't open, that it looks like it isn't, it doesn't open period. It looks like it's out of business that was nearby. I'm like, this is not it. So then we get down to the plantation. It was roped off to go in to the plantation. So he made a U-turn to go back to the hotel by the time, and he was driving quite reckless. Like he really did not want to drive. And by the time we made the U-turn to go back to the hotel, I saw the people were opening the plantation, even though it was late because it was like 9.45. So I'm back in my hotel room. Um, checkout is at 11, so I'm just gonna, I guess, chill out um, and start packing in the few to go check out a hotel, and then I'll just go eat lunch at the hotel. the Turks and Caicos. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit from my failures. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, please make sure you leave any questions or comments you have down below in the comment box. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. See you next week as I tell you about things you need to know before you travel to the Turks and Caicos. Thank you and have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.